Hello everyone and welcome back to season 3, episode 1. We're finally starting the third season. Some things can shake you to the core and convert even the most skeptical minds. Oh god, alright, we remember. We remember that he wanted to introduce us to his little clique, to his little group. Episode 1. Predestined path. Who are these people? Path of loyalty. I took a timid step back, carefully looking at the people who had just walked in. They surrounded me, but they hadn't done anything yet. There was no need to be afraid, but anxiety still tightened my throat. I can't make any sudden movements. I'm still not sure about what to expect from them. Pull back your hood. Pull back your hoods and introduce yourselves. There is no need to scare her. It took us so much effort to make this happen. Some people revealed their faces, others choose to chose to remain hidden. I looked at them and some had familiar features. Familiar features. Ooh. Are these your friends? <laughs> Family members? I don't know. Yep. <laughs> This is so funny. Like, I was actually just kidding. Are these your family members? Like, I just... <laughs> why? Why? Just why at this point? Why am I like this? Is there my relatives? Respect, I am so weak. Let me introduce you, Amala. This is my uncle, Vimal Dubai. And his children, Lalit Sharma and Rishi Dubai. The young man and woman who seemed to be f of similar age suddenly smiled at me. For some reason, their grins were so unexpected and disconcerting that I couldn't bring myself to smile back. Do we blame her? She's a little freaked out. Is he introducing me to his family? <laughs> We've been waiting to meet you, Miss Basu. You really look like a Basu. Ah, oh, thank you. I don't think that... Um, Rita's gonna have it. We saw you dancing at the Puya. I was bold. Thank you. The crowd went crazy, making you summon Mahadevi Durga. Why are you man of children? <laughs> the stately man stepped forward, giving me a slight bow. Why? I'm glad to see you here, Amalabasu. We've been waiting for your arrival for a very long time. Despite all the obstacles in our way, fate has been kind to us, and that's a very good thing. Ratan's calm voice rang out in the hall. Thank you for saying something. Fate. <laughs> Ratan, you know what? I wasn't having him in season two after the shady thing he pulled in the first season, but I'm having him in this season. Like, let's go. Let's go. I mean, let's just say I ha wasn't having him the first half of the second season. But now I'm living through him. Fed, a community just to sum up all of my efforts in one simple word. <laughs> we looked at each other. <laughs> Ratan had his own duties to fulfill, but he promised that he'd help me. How would He wouldn't do anything to harm me, right? Of course, you did the job we agreed on. I'm grateful to you. I plucked up the courage to speak. What's this all about? Why did you bring me here? So you can meet the rest of the dozen and the representatives of the other families. Perhaps find your place amongst us. My place. We all play a role in the maintaining order. In maintaining order. The dozen is not just some random list. We need to protect our lineage. Or our land will plunge into chaos. If we try hard enough, we can make a worthy representative of your family out of you. You can't let your family die out. Suddenly there was a loud pounding at the door. Everyone turned around at once when they heard shouting in English. Let's go. My baby's offending me. That's Killian? He's trying to get inside. They must have lost sight of me and got worried. I went toward the door. Rishi Dubai blocked my way. Excuse you, honey. Just because you're good looking doesn't mean that I'm gonna let you block my path. 
Did anyone give you permission to open the door to strangers? I sure as hell am not gonna ask your opinion. I'm not gonna ask for your permission to open the door. Back off, kid. I don't need anyone's permission. I'm not your prisoner, right? You're not. But it's in your best interest to do as you're supposed to. I'm supposed to make sure that my friends are taken care of. And it's in your best interest to make me want to do so. Independence, step back, Rishi. It's good that her colleagues finally noticed that they were missing someone. Amrit clearly found the whole situation amusing. Uh huh. He was watching me as if I was putting on a show just for him. Sir, I'm dressed. I'm not naked anymore. Stop it. The door slammed open. A moment later, an alarm Killian and a terrified Lima burst into the hall. I love these two. They are my children. Amala, you here have lost you. What the hell? You left without saying anything. What were we supposed to think? We were really scared. What's going on here? What brings you all to our humble abode? Sir! Are you keeping her here against her will? Amala, are we keeping you here against your will? <laughs> he asked after he screwed me. Mm -hmm. No, but... Dubai turned to Killian. See, she said no. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> why? Why? Why is this man like this? I was kidding. But I, yeah, I already figured him out at this point. The lady said no. She's my responsibility. Amala, let's leave. You can leave. <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't talking to you. This conversation started long before you came and hasn't ended yet. Leave now. Don't embarrass yourself. Oh my god. Are these two bitching over me because I had a love story with Killian? Master Dubai, you've changed. You seemed a lot friendlier the last time we met. Stop it, girl. Your impertinence will be your downfall. Oh, uh-uh, you do not threaten my loved ones. Sir, the fact that I'm that you're my soulmate is not going to change the fact that I'm going to beat you the hell up being careful with your words. These are the people I love. You better show them some respect. My friend Linus was nothing but a burdensome necessity. Killian looked at Ratan. You again? What do you want from her? He's taking care of me. Calm down. He's my child. Ratan has turned into my child as well. You are not touching him. Amala said he could be trusted. She also said she would stop doing stupid shit. <laughs> and yet here we are. <laughs> you know what, Killian? I love you. She's safe and sound. Any more questions? Ratan! Don't start bitching as well. You told your colleagues about being in touch with Ratan, of course. Amrit interrupted us. His voice menacingly calm. I had never heard him sound that way. This is all becoming quite tedious. We're discussing our affairs right now, and they don't concern you. Some of your affairs concern us too. If that wasn't the case, we wouldn't have come here at all. Ooh! Exactly, silent Amrit. Amrit didn't like his tone. <laughs> no, Killian, go with your tone. His upper lip twitched in annoyance. Sir, you do not touch my children. I'm not in the mood to play your games. Leave. No, let him stay. I want them to stay. Okay, let's all calm down. It's better not to let things escalate. Killian. I know what I'm doing. If I came here, then it means I had to. Well, you're under my protection. Putting yourself in such danger is unacceptable. I love Killian. Killian is annoyed at your behavior, sir. If she's staying, then we're all staying. I love Killian. I'm in love with Killian. <laughs> this man is great. Really, I'm debating. She isn't thinking straight. And I'm the one responsible for her. Killian. I love this man. Ew. Who do you think you are giving orders to? Ooh! Sorry. <laughs> I can't with the bitching. <laughs> I can't with the fights. Something changed on Amrit's face. He glowered at Killian, his smirk becoming increasingly cruel. Sir. 
Rishi, Lalit, Vimal, and the rest of the hooded figures stepped aside. My survival instincts promote, prompted me to do the same. Someone's in trouble. Lalit is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. Fool. If Amrit is touching my two children, we're gonna have a problem, Amrit. Ratan looked around the hall nervously, as if he was expecting something to happen. Amrit, don't. They're leaving. I told them to leave several times already, yet they're still here. I guess I should probably make it a little more clear who exactly they're dealing with. Don't touch my children. The hall of the temple began to shift. The light started to tremble, and airy shadows morphing into living shapes started crowding the corners. You are not hurting my children, Amrit. The eyes of the Murti Durga statue lit up. What the hell? Lima instinctively clung to Kilian, staring at the walls of the temple in horror. What's them moving? I had long suspected that Amrit was involved in the ritual murders. I knew he was likely to be the priest from my visions. Yeah, I I already knew. I, I already said it last season. As if to prove my assumptions right, his eyes started glowing. The harder he clenched his fists, the louder the shadows howled in every corner. Amrit, make me fall for you even more. I mean, at this point, I don't know why, but... <laughs> There is something insanely sexy about Amrit when he's mad. Like, when he's possessive, when he's angry, when he's jealous. Like, <laughs> there's something incredibly sexy about that. I've tolerated your presence on my land long enough. It's time for you to face the consequences. If you want me to stay on your grounds, you're gonna leave them alone, Amrit. I threw myself at Amrit a moment before he could do anything to Kilian and Lima. Thank you for finally moving your ass, girl. Don't interfere. Rishi, shut it. Taking Amrit's hand, I shouted. Exactly. Shut it. Stop. Please don't hurt them. They didn't know. Amrit, who didn't seem fully himself, replied in an impassive tone. They didn't know what? The truth about you. The truth about who you really are. Amrit scoffed. It doesn't matter. Ignorance is never an excuse. If you figured it all out, you should have told them. Is he saying that I am right? Twisted, deformed shadows kept creeping closer and closer to Kilian and Lima. They surrounded them in a dense cloud, leaving nothing but horror and helplessness on their faces. Don't hurt! No! Don't hurt my people! Don't hurt the people I love! Amrit, I'm gonna fucking break up with you if you don't stop. Honestly, now, just because I'm in love with you doesn't mean that I'm uh, gonna stand for the fact that you hurt the people I love. They are my friends. I love them. You can't just uh, get rid of them because you feel like it, because you can't stand ignorance. I'm also p a part of the higher case. What's this? What are those things? I have to get out of here. Amrit, please... Well, since you're asking me so nicely. The monstrous shadows kept getting denser, but they didn't touch my friends. You saved your friends from Armit's wrath. All your relationships have improved. Let's go. Everything was rapidly spinning out of control. Whoever Amrit is, I need to stop him. Try to reason with him, try to calm him down. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to try to calm him down. I spread my arms, shouting. Stop it. You can't waste the energy that the goddess grants you. Come to your senses or you might lose your own head. Ratan joined me. Enough with this, Dubai. Look, they're both deathly pale. I'm just keeping things in order as we all should do. We will, but without wasting my Devi's precious resources. Show them mercy or the goddess Devi won't show it to you in return. <laughs> You want to talk with about the goddess and her powers? Let's talk about the goddess. Dubai, listen, looking at me. Is that really what you want? For me to stop? Do I have to sing it? Yes! What a waste of time. Well, since that's your wish. I'm ready to listen to you. Huh, thank you. 
In the end, Amrit waved his hand. No one should dare to give orders here. I'm the only mortal who rules this place. Remember this, or next time I'm not going to show you mercy. You're gonna show them mercy if you want to have me by your side, sir. That's how things work in my world. In a matter of seconds, everything faded away. You're safe and sound. All that screaming about nothing. Amrit. Be careful. If you're gonna do all these shady things with me, that's fine. But you don't touch my loved ones. I have a real big problem about that. Killian took a few unsteady steps back and Lima collapsed on her knees right where she had been standing. Look what you did to them. Like you dick. She was still shaking in fear. Killian's eyes were empty, staring into the distance. How could you? This is cruel even for you. Even for me. I did what was necessary, Amala. These foreigners have caused us a lot more pain than this. They're my friends! If you want... Have you not heard of anything like, I don't know, love? You would have to know what feelings are. Like actually wanting to have people by your side. Not wanting to lose them. You should know what that feels like. They are my friends. They're they're my loved ones. You can't just go around and torture them, hurt them, just because you say that they're being mean to you. What is wrong with you? His gaze became softer. If you're so worried, you can help them. I didn't mean to upset you. Ugh. It reminds me of Lance in episode 26 of Eldari the Origins. But you did. I care about you, Mala, but not about them. I know that, but if you care about me, you should respect me enough to respect the people I love. That's what you do when you care about someone. You respect or care about the people that your loved one loves. I love my friends. You can't hurt them. We'll be waiting for you in the adjoining room, Amala. Come soon. My mouth tasted bitter, disgusting, but instead of spitting, I swallowed the lump in my throat. I'll be there soon. When Amrit motioned his people to leave, we were left alone. Kilian collapsed on the floor next to Lima. My children! I really wanted to help my friends. I kneeled in front of them. I gently caressed Kilian on his shoulder and took Lima's hand in mine. How are you feeling? I don't understand. What the hell was that? Whatever we just experienced, the darkness was moving. And making noises, and the stage's eyes. Yeah, honestly, this is part this is partially your fault, girl, because you should have told them about the visions that you were having about the shadow creatures. It wouldn't have shocked them that much to see these creatures. What's important is that you're safe now. Lima looked at me warily. Amala, are you really close to him? Stay away from him, he's a psychopath. I have to agree with Liam on this one. You know, it sucks that I fell in love with... Um, it sucks, it really, really sucks that I fell in love with Amrit. Because right now I'm not having him. Like, you know the problem with Amrit here? He is ruthless, okay? He's ruthless and he doesn't know when to stop. Like, he actually is insanely headstrong, confident, and ruthless. And those three combined are a horrifying combination. He only stopped because we told him to stop. He has no mercy or conscience. That. I don't know what role he plays in our case, but I'm absolutely sure that he is responsible for the murders. He is. I know. I know. What the hell just happened? I felt for them. I knew how hard it was to find yourself face to face with the supernatural for the first time. You helped your friends, all your relationships have improved. You've told us about something like this, about some visions. I always told them, I always wanted her to say something. I remember too. Was that what we saw? Or did we just experience mass hysteria? Yes, that's what it was. But these are not just visions, it's all real. You told your friends about your visions. Your relationship with Kilian and Lima have improved. Yeah, I told them back then already. I heard a low voice right behind me. Don't linger. I'll take care of them. You go to Dubai. I can't just leave them here in the temple. I'm telling you, go. The sooner you deal with this, the sooner you'll return to your brother. He's all alone with your team leader now. 
I didn't protest further. The thought of my brother out there all alone hurried me along. Dubai and his people were waiting for me in the adjoining hall. I was angry at him for what had just happened. Thank you! But there was nothing I could do about it. I knew that the only way was forward. I entered the adjoining hall, still shaken by what had just happened to my friends. Several pointed stairs welcomed me into the room. Was all that really necessary? They needed to know their place and to be and be convinced not to interfere. But not shake them to the core. There are more civilized ways to deal with someone, sir. Just because you have power, you don't have to abuse it. I've been interfering. Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do that to me? You're here because I want you to be. And I actually like your curiosity. Are you serious? We need you. We can only save a land when all twelve families stand together. Save it from what? From other ruin. Do you need my help that much? So that's what it's all about. Do you need my help that much? I'm not as influential as you are. The Bazoos might have been an important family in the past, but they have no power now. How can I even be useful to you? We all work to maintain order in India, but it's becoming more and more difficult with each person that year. The circumstances are against us. Every family in the dozen has a specific role. Used to too. You're a Kshatriya, a born leader. Merali Patil wrote that the Basu family had a matriarchal structure. It's true. That's why I'm talking to you and not to your brother. Hello? We need a strong Bazoo woman. We're not interested in the man of the family, sir. And your family is patrical with a strong male lineage. Lineage. Yes. Vaimal and Rishi Dubai exchanged glances. Lali didn't look much like her brother and father, which just proved that what I read in the book was true. Your birth has been predestined, Amala. There's no point in resisting your fate. Why are you being so difficult? A Dubai is offering himself to you, and you're turning up your nose. Lalit, don't you dare talk to her like that. She's a bazoo. Exactly. Respect me. You're, you're a Sharma. You're not on the same level. I thought this was going to be a lot quicker. What's your problem with joining us, Amala Basu? Are you too scared to step into your ancestor's role? Amrit threw her a furious glance. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's when you know that you're important to this man. Oh my god. That's a that's a killer look. If looks could kill. The young woman looked a little rattled. But the stubborn light in her eyes told me that she was smart beyond her years and very confident. Kindness of a goddess. Oh, let's go. How dare they talk to me like that? What's your tone? Remember who you're talking to. I'm a bazoo. And who are you exactly? Ooh. Whether my family is still alive or not, I won't tolerate this kind of attitude. If you want to continue this conversation, treat me with the respect I am owed. Treat me as your equal. Rishi's expression changed. I guess he was Vimal Dubai's hair, and he already knew his place. But Lalit, offended by my words, snapped at me. Try me. You know what? Be quiet, Lalit. Ooh! <laughs> Amrit said silence. <laughs> he actually said silence. But Amrit, she's trying to push you around. I'm not trying to push him around. I'm just telling him to not touch my friends. Didn't I just tell you to be quiet? This is not the way things are solved. All respect, let's go. Before asking me for anything, you should explain what's going on, why you're trying so hard to make sure that the dozen is restored. There's a dark time, Samala. Very troubled ones. Everyone interferes in our affairs. Those in power are unable to cooperate, leading to war and conflict, and the environment is under threat for human greed. If we take control, we can help make things better. Control? Yes. You of all people should know. You're a Kshatriya. I can help you if you help us. If you're interested, we can discuss details later. He's trying to lure me in. Somehow I doubt that they just want to take control of of the country for noble reasons. I still don't understand what's going on. I should find a way to leave. You put everyone in their place and learned new information about what's happening in Calcutta. We need to rebuild our alliance. 
So you want an alliance? Rather the bias are those who hold the knowledge and the bassoos hold the power. I like how much research you put into the dozen. <laughs> Thank you. In <laughs> respect, let's go. The door suddenly opened. Yaya's petite figure stepped inside. Yaya! Amala, I've been looking for you everywhere, Kiran's... Oh, Mr. Tupai, Miss Sharma, I hope I'm not interrupting you. Come on in, Yaya. You know her? She's one of them? Amala, do you know Yaya Banerjee? Yes! <laughs> Same girl! That one's so... Banerjee? Yes, we know each other. Amala, her brother Kiran and I came to the Puya together. Oh, how do you like Kiran Paso? He's nice. <laughs> nice, you like him, it's fine. Look at her, she's blushing. Don't tease her. Ooh! You're still swooning over her, huh? Please don't embarrass me in front of our guests. Yaya came closer to me, but I couldn't look at her the same way anymore. That woman from the past, my mother's friend, who is she to Yaya? Does this mean that Mrs. Chauhan is a Benjuri too? Or maybe she has a sister who married into the Benjuri family? You found out that Yaya is part of the Benjuri family. Yaya quietly stood aside. I'll be waiting for you at my house. One word and Shaka will bring you to me. There's one condition though. And what's that? I trust that you won't tell your colleagues about this. But so, I like to stress the fact that you absolutely shouldn't. Are we understood? You don't really seem to trust me. That's... Is that so? An hour ago I was writing him and now he's threatening me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's, that was funny, the way she said that. Honestly though, this is hot and cold between these two. It all, and sadly, this is one of the reasons that the desire for each other is so intense. Glare at him. Glare at his ass. We held each other's gaze. I wanted to make some sarcastic comment, but other images suddenly came to mind. When I remembered how sensually he'd been holding me against him, a pleasant warmth filled my body. It was infuriating, but I couldn't help myself. I could see from his smirk that he was thinking the exact same thing. Stop it! Stop being my soulmate for just a second, sir. Please. Don't forget that I can feel your every feeling. So do I. I've never made a mystery of my own desire. <laughs> I hate this man with a passion. I hate this man as much as I love him. That's only true love, people. Amrit was right. We had wanted each other for a long time, but still we weren't satisfied. I felt so wrong. It felt so wrong. To stand in a sacred temple, arguing in front of all these people, while our thoughts were full of all the ways we could make love to each other. That. As I looked at Amrit, I remembered how he bit his lip and how he enjoyed looking at my naked body. You drive each other crazy, literally and spiritually. I couldn't let Dubai cloud my mind. I shook my head as if coming to back to my senses. Exactly. Go on. I agreed to think about it all. Shaka will pick you up. Or would you prefer if, if I came personally? No, thank you. We're probably just gonna do it in the car, so... I'll let you know when I'm ready. As you wish, but don't take too long. I'm gonna take a long time just to recover from the fact how you hurt my friends. When I left the temple, Rishi, Lalit, and Vimal accompanied me. With us were a few other people whose names I never learned. Finally, after all that time, I reunited with my brother and went home. My head was overwhelmed by information. Kiran spent the whole dinner talking about how fun and interesting it was at the Puya. But occasionally, he would throw me strange, meaningful glances. I couldn't eat because I was too exhausted. After the noise of the festival, all that happened in the temple and the conversation with the Dubais, the only thing I wanted to do was sleep. Without lingering in the garden, I went back to my room. The following morning, I felt lost in my anxious thoughts. I was feeling restless, so I decided to talk to my brother before taking any decision. After getting up, I got ready. Um. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> Let's go with this one, fine. I didn't like any of them, actually. Then... I had just finished getting ready and I was heading to the door when it suddenly swung open. Kiran was standing in front of me. You're up finally. What is it? He suddenly took something out of his pocket and almost shoved it in my face. This, you're the one who took it. Kiran was holding his notebook, the same notebook where he had written down what my grandmother had said. Yes, I took it back. You were acting too weird. And you know, I'm glad I did that. Are you sure you don't want to tell me something? I felt sick. What do you mean? I got help translating it. I know what she was talking about now. What the hell is going on, Mala? What are you hiding from me? And of course they just ended it like that, because why not? I got five respect points this episode. Look at the 60 points, people. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Tell me in the comments below what you think was best, and I will see you in another video. Bye.